Welcome to some awesome games. Good looking people, I'm Rob. We are playing Star Wars Force Arena on my tablet. My Samsung Galaxy tablet here. We're gonna play as the Inquisitor, the Grand Inquisitor. We wanna unlock Boba Fett at some point. We have to fight for the Rebel Alliance one time. We've successfully done suppression. Yay for us. We should probably tick that off. Uh, but Luke! Lukey, 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 boy. What do we want to do? I think we'll, I think we'll play as Inquisitor again because <laughs> I feel like it. Even though I know we got missions, I know we got missions, and we don't have a great deck yet. We've got to work out what we like in our cards that we're gonna play as sniper rifles or the the guardsmen, the honor guards. I don't know. It's a tough call. I kind of like the snipers. At the moment, snipers and the tanks, slipping them off down the side, distracting the player. That's my current playstyle, because we're in tier 2, so it's very, like, this is video 2 of this game. So I like to try my best at distracting the player while I sneak off some ranged troops so you can sit out of range or at least tank some damage from the turrets and whoop butt that way. That's my... That's my go-to style. Uh, but we do have a mission. We are playing Luke. I t why not? Uh, we have a mission. We have to play as the Rebels, or win as the Rebels, or something with the Rebels. So we have to play as the Rebels. So we're playing as Luke, who people, I think, is considered one of the better heroes. I think. I don't know. We'll see. But we've got our sniper. So we've got to, we've just got to distract the Inquisitor and let our snipers sneak up down the side. Oh, oh! He's bringing in the ties. We've got these little melee Twi'leks. 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 Terrible at pronouncing their names. Not that... Don't discredit my Star Wars nerd cred. But it's true. Uh, so the cool thing about Luke is, as you can see, our sniper is... He snuck off down that side. Has the Inquisitor noticed? He's got to pick which side does he go for. Does he go for the side with the Wookiee and the Grenader? going in there. He does! He does, right? Sniper, keep chipping away, buddy. Keep chipping away. Like, I prefer the Inquisitor. The Inquisitor is more my style. But he still hasn't noticed that Sniper. He's focusing the one side. That will be your downfall, buddy. Uh, but as I was saying, the cool thing about Luke is if you stand still, you deflect laser fire. Uh, I don't know how long that lasts for, but obviously when you're getting outgunned like that, probably not very long. Our Sniper is... Our Sniper beat a turret. As a sniper, they're not the quickest of of uh, characters to take down a turret, but they're gone. Let's send another one down there. Has the Inquisitor noticed? He's still not. He's got no clue. He's sitting in his own area. We're not going for this side, man. We just gotta, you know, spam him with characters and let him think that we're going this side. We're, we're not. We're, we're secretly not. Has he noticed? Has he picked up on it yet? I don't think so. He's gonna kill me again and he's gonna go for the central turret, isn't he? He is. He's pushing in. We've almost got his uh, his other turret. Oh, wait, no. Our sniper's dead. We need to send some more troops up that way. This could come down to the wire. We've lost our turret. It's okay. We're in an okay position. His, his middle one is in red and his one on the left is very badly damaged, which means if we start spamming troops up the sides, if we want to, if we so choose. Alright, come on, sniper. Finish that middle turret. If he ignores the sniper anymore... Oh, wait, no, he's realized. He knows what's up. He's realized. It's too late, man. That turret is gone. Alright, let's finish this one off. Get it, troops. He's in trouble now. He realizes it. We've got 40 seconds. Alright, we have the lead. We have three. He has two. As long as we protect that turret on the right... We're okay. As long as we protect our shield generator, we're also okay. Now we can just send out troops. Our troops, all they gotta do is get to the shield generator. So we just gotta distract him here while our troops sneak up up the side and attack their shield generator. There's under 20 seconds left. He ain't gonna get this. You can kill me all you want. I really don't mind, man. Because you are not watching the tiny green dot that has made it up to your shield generator. We might destroy it before it even ends. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Beaten, Chumbo. And you can see we had the little dude there smacking it with his thing. Uh, good game, man. Good game. You tried. You had you had the advantage there. 
You really needed to push in there. We've got a silver pack tier two. I'll give you the thumbs up. Any mutual respect? Any? Any at all? I don't know what the benefit of receiving thumbs up is besides, you know, feeling like you played well. I thought that was a pretty close game, man. You killed me a lot of times, but you just weren't observant. Oh, you ignored one side. That's the problem there. You, you were not very observant. So I'm going to open these. We have a lot of crystals. Because if you start the game now, you get a bunch of Kyber crystals. So we've got a lot of them. So I'm over, I'm using them. While we've got the premium booster going, which I think you have when you start playing. While that is going, the cost of opening packs and the time of opening packs is reduced. So it makes sense to use your Kyber crystals to open packs. In my mind, anyway. I'm sure someone out there is going to be like, No, oh, you should save them for the end game. Like, no, let's just... I'm open them, man. I'm going for it. I'm kyber crystalling this up and I can level up my characters. Our goal is to get Boba Fett. We're gonna unlock Boba Fett by completing these missions. We've got a free sticker back there. Fight for the Galactic Empire one time. That I can do. We'll get the Inquisitor going. But if you are playing this, do the missions. Pay attention to the missions. Do them while you're in the lower tiers or else it's probably gonna be difficult later on. The Forest Moon of Endor. Bom, bom, bom. So we are gonna play as, uh, we're doing Luke. We're going Luke. Luke versus Krennic. Alrighty Roo. Alrighty Roo. So I'm not gonna show you every single match, every single mission, every little detail. Uh, we're just gonna do bite-sized chunks. Because there, you'll be watching thousands and thousands of missions otherwise. Lots of battles. Uh, so we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you chunks chunks of the game as we play it. So there we go double side What side's he gonna go? We just want credit is going the right side good good do it man. Nah, our left side guy's dead What do we got? We've got a tank. Our tank is one we want to sneak up Okay, that's not working. I think maybe I have to face them to deflect perhaps uh, But I want to distract Krennic on the right side here sneak off my tank up the left side and then I'll be pretty happy. Go, little light tank. Go. All right, Krennic. I'm over here, man. Pay attention to me. You got death troopers, buddy. Now kick my butt. But that's okay. He hasn't noticed the tank, has he? He's staying back. See, this is, what he's doing is a very good strategy. It's uh, what I really should be doing. But I'm I'm distracting. I'm I'm letting him think I'm failing hard. Meanwhile, on the other side, Krennic man, you're not even looking. You're not even watching. This could be a strong loss for you, buddy, if you don't pay attention over there. Uh, but he's he had a good if he, if he was playing both sides, he, I'd say he had a good strategy. Uh, because like stay in your turret zone, stock up your energy, and then deploy troops either side. And then if someone wants to, like just treat your hero kind of like as a deployment pose rather than like I am right now as a combat character. All right, you're down. Our turret, our tank is gone. Uh, Wookie Warriors, we got a tank here. We should probably take out this cannon here, or this turret here in front of us. So if the tank starts attacking it, we'll drop in the turret to stop anyone who attacks my tank. It's like, is it shooting it? Nah, okay. So, right, so we're doing what I said. We stay back, we drop him in. Krennic is here, he's on this side. We've got one turret at the top. We might not win, we might not, we might not actually get the shield generator, but we've got the points, we've got the lead, but it is very close, because our turret has very little, uh, it's going to be 1-1, one, one. it has very little health. Alright, and now he's heading central, alright, <laughs> he might have the advantage here, if I can sneak a sniper up or something, damn these death troops are good, alright, oh my god, alright sniper please. Distract. I'm here to distract. If we can pick up that middle turret in 25 seconds, we'll take the lead. We just have to defend this central turret. He's gonna be really focused on getting it. I know he is. I know his brain's not gonna be looking up the back. He's not gonna be watching it. Alright, maybe he is. Maybe he is. Oh, he's going for it. We might lose this one. Oh, this is gonna be a close one. Seven seconds. This could be a draw. We're gonna go into overtime. Unless they destroy our turret. Don't do it, fellas. 60 seconds on overtime. Krennic has the advantage. Oh boy, oh boy. 
What to do, what to do. Sneak up that way. Distract him here. Krennic's not going to fall for it again. Surely not. Which is okay, because maybe we can pick up this turret instead. If I just, like... Oh, Krennic is dead! Right, we have the, we have the advantage. Go. Krennic died. I hope that, that's our tank still alive. Our tank has it. It's take a shot. We got it. Sucked in, Krennic. He died off. That saved us. He couldn't beat the uh, sniper and tank at the same time by himself. That saved our butt. We got it. I'll take it. Good game, buddy. Good game. He killed me seven times. Clearly, I was playing very uh, stupidly aggressive. Just trying to distract. I don't think it worked out too well. I mean, we won in the end. But it wasn't the most glorious of wins that we possibly could have had. What have we got in here? Some credits. Those little dudes. I should probably learn their name. Let's level them up. Tows Marauders. Okay. Well, that's their name. The little Tows fellas. But this is episode two of our Force Arena series. I'm hooked on it. I'm not even kidding. I can't put this game down. It is too damn fun. I really did not expect it to be this fun. Uh, I didn't even know it existed until I saw my friends talking about it. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'll check it out. It's probably not going to be that good. Damn it. You just never know with a game what's going to just hook its claws into you. 